Hello Linux users, this is Andrew, another Linux user, and it's just, um, I want to share a couple of things to the world uh, about this wonderful Linux world. Um, this is actually going to be the first video I will upload to YouTube in English. Uh, probably you have already noticed that I'm not an English speaker, um, but anyways, um, let me just tell you and show you. Uh, this is the desktop um, I used to have a couple of weeks ago. I used Intergos uh, for nearly a year, I think, and and I used to have it with GNOME. Um, it was working really great. I was really, really happy with GNOME, but then just watching on the internet, um, um, I saw some people stating that KDE Plasma is better than, than GNOME. So basically, I've decided to install uh, like a French fresh install um, of Antergos and I installed it with KDE Plasma. Now, this is what I have here in my computer uh, and I have to say it works really great. Starting with Dolphin, Dolphin is a great files manager and I think it's better than Nautilus. That Nautilus is the, the, the files manager in, uh, as default in GNOME, right? Um, so actually, it's really great that I can split the view here for copying files. It makes it a lot, uh, a lot easier. And I have here a terminal included <laughs> in the files manager, which is great. I use it a lot. Uh, the fact that I can just pretty much, uh, uh, or basically, I guess that's one, one of the most prominent characteristics uh, for, for um, KDE. The fact that you can customize so many things. And I think at the same time, as some people actually say or admit, um, th there are so many things that you can customize that actually you kind of get confused and lost uh, with with the customization and where to get things done. Uh, but anyways, I have followed a couple of tutorials um, by them. And I have ended up with this wonderful desktop environment and it looks great. I feel really happy. I feel really comfortable. Um, so yeah, this menu, for instance, I think um, it's kind of uh, simple. Uh, it is more simple than 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 the the one that GNOME uses. And actu actually, I think that the one in GNOME looks more beautiful. I prefer that one. There is another one that is similar here in KDE, but I really didn't like it, so I don't use it anymore. Um, but anyways, um, all the applications I need uh, as a 3D character animator are here. Uh, I could install everything I need. Uh, well, no games. I mean, um, the, the graphic applications like uh, Blender and Inkscapes and um, GIMP and all those softwares, uh, they work really great. Except for, for, for some applications, which uh, I understand because of the fact that they are made for, for another framework. Uh, GTK, if I'm not wrong, is the one that uses GNOME. Uh, but in this case with uh, Qt frameworks, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I am not uh, like an expert on, on, on this topic. Um, but for, exam for instance, w WPS, um, it, I have experienced a couple of problems with it um, but they are not really that that big that bad um, so so I, I mean I've been ignoring them um, quite easily um, so uh, blender I actually think is working even better than uh, what it, it used to be in known I think because of the fact that actually the Nvidia drivers uh, work better here I have no idea why, because at the end it's like, uh, well, uh, from my point of view is the same operating system, which is Antergos, with another desktop environment, but actually everything works better up, up on, I mean, with the graphics card, um, everything works better uh, about that regarding. Even, for instance, um, I used to have this software installed in, in GNOME. This is for converting files, because I use Blender as a um, video editing software too. Um, but actually, I had a, a problem there that is that WinFF didn't work at all, actually. This software there, 
uh, I used to get an error. I don't remember which one was the error. I think it was a library or something. But anyways, it didn't work and I didn't find a way to to fix it. Uh, so it was a problem for me because I had to render the, the, those files, those videos in, in, in Blender and that encoding is not good. Uh, so actually I was getting like really large files that I had to upload um, on the cloud, uh, on, on the cloud. But, but yeah, it didn't, it didn't work and I had to do it that way. Now I have tested um, it already and it is working perfectly. Actually, I take those MP, MP4 uh, HD, uh, full, uh, full HD and, and it is working really, really, really good. I have no problem with, with, with that. Um, so besides that, uh, I guess like the calendar, for instance, uh, the calendar that I used to have in, in GNOME, um, it, wo it worked sometimes, um, some of the times it didn't work. I have no idea why, but this calendar works really well for me and it, it is synced to my Google calendar, which is very useful for me. Um, so yeah, basically in general, uh, all those things are the, of course, the fact that I, uh, I've got like virtual desktops available for me to work there. Um, it is great, but there is a, a future th here in KDE that has surprised me a lot. And I think that is going to make the really big difference for me to stay and keep working with KDE. So basically, as I, I'm stating here for, for this video, I'm sorry, Gnome, I am having an affair with KDE, but actually I'm sorry, Gnome, but I think uh, it's very likely that I'm going to keep, um, keep this relationship with KDE. Uh, because activities is something that really makes a, a good difference for me. I, and and it's, I'm pretty sure because I have discovered it today. Just today I discovered it and it is going, uh, I mean, from now on I will work with activities because in basically what I do is to work with Blender um, on my animations, yeah, whatever, but sometimes I just leave like, for instance, the browser downloading stuff or, or I simply uh, keep working in Blender um, and then start rendering the videos or whatever and then just leave those um, those processes, I am going to leave those processes uh, in, in another activity, which is basically just, if maybe you don't know about it, um, that would be like another space. So I'm, I'm working with two monitors. I work, I usually work with two monitors, not right now, uh, but it, that means that I basically have four desktops available there. And besides that, what activities let me do uh, is to have like uh, another set of uh, workspaces, you can say, um, separated from, from these four. So I have four here on this side and, and four on the, on the, in the other space uh, of the activity. So that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to change here um, with, with the keyboard shortcut and get to, to, the, other, to the other activity and then just um, leave there whatever the, the browser or Blender or anything working here and I just go just leave it there separate it so it doesn't get in the middle of the way when I'm switching uh, switching over here different windows uh, and I just keep on working and all the processes are there uh, uh, being developed you know like getting done so pretty much this is it um, thank you very much for those people who share all those things about Linux and desktop environments and everything, that's what I want to do now. Um, because there is a lot of kind of argument and yeah, I, I used to be kind of in love with GNOME and I give this uh, a try and, and I think it's going to, um, to be beneficial for my workflow as a 3D animator. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully, maybe if you have um, like any questions or anything that I can help with, um, hopefully I will be able to help as well um, because I am not an expert.
but yeah the idea is to keep uh, sharing and spreading love um, for Linux thank you very much see you next time